All right, this is third grade, module six, lesson eight, and students, just like the previous lesson, lesson seven, students are going to be taking some data, they're going to be making a line plot. Uh, the difference in this lesson is there's going to be less scaffolding, so students are going to have to do more of the work on their own. So let's get started. All right, so here we have a table of data, and it says... Mrs. Lee's, Leah? Mrs. Leah's class uses what they learned about simple machines to build marshmallow launchers. And they record the distances their marshmallows travel in the chart below. So we can see that the title is distance traveled, and we, we're told that it's in inches. So these are inches. And these are all your different values. And we've got four rows times five. So there's 20 pieces of data. And the idea is now we're supposed to make our um, line plot. And uh, so we're going to start by giving it a title. And the title is Distance Traveled. So let's call that Distance Traveled. And then we are going to make our number line. And now what we need to do is we need to look at our data up here and we need to find the lowest number and we need to find the highest number. So, so far the lowest number is in the 48s. There's a 48, there's a 48, there is a exactly a 48. So our lowest number is 48. Now let's think about the highest number. So the highest number here is in the 49s. Again, 49s. Ah, so our highest here is 50. So we need to go from 48 to 50 because that's the extremes, right? That's the range that our um, data goes from. So let's do 48 right here. Let's make this 50 right here. So what's smack dab in the middle is 49. And because we can see that we have quarters, that means we need to cut each of these into four equal sized pieces. So one, two, three, four, and then one, two, three, four. And so that is how we are going to get, whoa, undo. That is how we are going to get our um, lines down here. So they're quarters. So it's going to be 48 and one quarter, 48 and a half, because two quarters equals a half, and then we've got 48 and 3 quarters, and now we have 48, I mean uh, 48 and 4 quarters, which is 49. And then we're going to keep going. So now we have 49 and 1 quarter, and then we have 49 and a half, and then lastly 49 and 3 quarters. And if I zoom out, now you can see everything is working perfectly, especially I want you to notice that we've got our halves uh, right here, smack dab in between 48 and 49. There's 48 and a half, and there's 49 and a half, which is smack dab in between 49 and 50. So now what we're going to do is we're going to just look at the data, and we're going to cross it off and put the X where it goes, right? And let's see. So let's see the first one. 48 and 3 quarters, so that's going to go right here. Cross that off. The next one is 49, and that's going to go right here. The next one is 49 and a quarter, it's going to go right here. The next one is 50, it goes right here. The next one is 49 and 3 quarters, it's going to go right there. And we're just going to continue like this. I'm going to pause the video so you don't have to watch me do all the work. And through the magic of the internet, you can now see that we have crossed off all the data because it, it is all of the data is now down here. And really, the one thing I kind of forgot to put in is, what do these numbers mean? These are, are these ounces? Are these days? Are these people? No, they are inches. So really, I need to put the word inches down here so that people looking at this table know that these represent inches. So now we've got our 
line plot here, and we've got we've been given a series of questions to answer. So first question, explain the steps you took to create the line plot. So what did we do? We looked at the table. The table of data told us the minimum and the maximum. We cut in all of the lines every quarter, and then we started to put in our X's. All right, so that's pretty straightforward. But the next question is, how many more marshmallows traveled 48 and 3 quarters inches than 48 and 1 quarter inches? Well, we could see there's two down here, four down here, so the answer is two. There are two more that traveled 48 and 3 quarters than 48 and 1 quarter. And then the last question here is find the three most frequent measurements on the line plot. And uh, so we can see those. They're the big tower right here. It kind of looks like what's famously known as a bell curve, because if you think about it, it starts low, it goes up, and then it comes down. That's called a bell curve. And what does this tell you about the distance that most of the marshmallows traveled? Well, it tells you most of the marshmallows traveled around 49 inches. Or you could say most of the marshmallows traveled between 48 and 3 quarters and 49 and a quarter. So you have a variety of ways you could answer that question. And that wraps up third grade module 6, lesson 8, taking the data and making a line plot.